Hello everyone. Today I'm working on a Briggs and Stratton 3 horsepower. I went through the um, carburetor, actually put a new carburetor on it, cleaned the gas tank, sharpened the blade, put a new brake cable on it that was broken, oil change, painted the um, engine block black. So I'll show you the last issue that um, I'm correcting right now. The previous owner had come up with this nut and bolt system. Maybe the original wheel stud had broken. I'm not sure. But this was his aftermarket attempt to replace that bolt. So the um, wheel was flopping around. That's not the right diameter bolt for this wheel. So we had all these plastic bushings in there. Three locking nuts on the end. A washer. This spacer. So a whole lot of nothing basically. So my way to correct that was this Arnold Universal wheel bolts. I had picked this up for a, a buck a few months ago at a yard sale. Didn't know I was going to be needing it so soon. It is uh, part number ASB 225. I just did a quick search. You can get these at Tractor Supply, Amazon, Home Depot. I think they're about four bucks. What's nice about these is you can adjust the length by pulling this coupling in or out depending on the, the length of the original bolt. Here's an old rusty one. You can see the length of this one. So with this universal one you can basically pull it all the way out or pull that threaded coupling in depending on the wheels. Basically there's so many different style wheels that if you went to the original parts list like I did um, about three months ago I had to spend eight bucks for one of these original wheel bolts. So with this universal one you can pretty much use it on any of these various size wheels. It'll give you the capability to go long or short this will thread out all the way to the end if you have to. I want to show you something when installing these. You want to make sure you have a little bit of meat here on your coupling showing. So you want to bring it in just enough where you can see that coupling. That way the um, wheel's got some space to move back and forth. You don't want to bury this coupling all the, all the way in or what's going to happen is it's going to it's going to grind against your deck here and not move. It's going to bind up. So leave a little bit of that coupling like that sh showing. Then th thread this through the hole and use your bolt here to secure it. Anyway, this Arnold Manufacturing, they make a lot of aftermarket stuff. They make um, mower blades and different things. 
So I found this universal wheel bolt set here to be quite helpful. And it's still on the market. You can still find it. This looks like an old package from the 80s. Sat in this guy's garage for a while, it looks like. Anyway, that's a quick quick solution if you've got wheel bolt problems by this Arnold Universal wheel bolt setup and you shouldn't have any problems half the cost of the original bolt if you look up the part number and go to a, a supplier it's going to be expensive Anyhow, that's the deal. Continue to have a nice day and thanks for watching.